there YouTube winners and welcome to part three of my Thatcher's Island carp fishery update. If you've never seen this before, there is a part one and two. Please go back and look. This, this blog basically uh, documents how I'm building my own fishery. Okay, so we are now into the September, which means I can finally put a digger in my field. Um, we had an ecological tie with the uh, land. So when they came to do the ecological statement for the planning permission, the guys came around and went, eh, you can't do that because there's birds in your field. Well, the birds have gone now, so now I can. So today has been the day where work has started. Um, I will show you everything in a minute. I'll also show you everything else that I've been doing. There's quite a lot that's happened since the last time you guys saw the field. So uh, I'll show you everything that's happened and uh, yeah, you follow the progress from there. So for those of you that remember what the uh, field looked like in part one, as you can see now, it's completely different. Uh, we've got signs up and uh, all the rest of the uh, good stuff that goes with it. I also have CCTV, which you may be able to see uh, up the top of the uh, pole there for a bit of site security. So we've also got this Harris fencing that goes all the way around the entrance, uh, just as another sort of security measure for the site. Right, so one of the first things that I did was uh, get my house built right over there. Lovely. So now I've got somewhere to live on site. Uh, secondly, we've built this kind of like fence that runs all the way down from the house um, and then round here and then down to the gate area. We also have a storage shed now, which I'm going to be using mainly probably to put uh, the feed in for the fish during the first couple of years. As with anything that you come to build, what you get on paper isn't always what you get in reality. And this project has been no different. So basically, the, this end of the lake was supposed to be a lot, probably about 30 yards kind of like up the bank a little bit more. The problem that we've had is that the level of the field compared to the top level of the field, which is where the levels are being taken from all the way throughout the site, don't quite match up. It was going to cost £7,000 just to gain another 30 yards. So what we did to compensate that was basically we pushed and pulled the lake across the field. So at the bottom end of the field, it needed to be brung up by a meter, but the field does slope up towards that corner edge. So what we did was we took that space from that end of the, from this end of the lake, and we basically pushed it up the bank on the other side. So um, as you can see, we're, at the moment, we're just taking off the topsoil in the field, uh, and it's all being pushed around with the bulldozer made into a massive pile there. Some of that will be used to build up the uh, the island because the island, is, the field is kind of on a slope. So uh, due to the levels, it has to be built up by about a meter. You can see over there, where all the machines are there. They're all ready, go for, ready to go for tomorrow morning. But my contractor did come up on Saturday and a little bit of Sunday, which is today, to do a little bit more work. So here we are now at the top of the mud mound in the middle of the field. As you can see, that's the top of the field over there. This area here is where the island was originally going to be. Um, I'm still planning on keeping the island. However, um, because we've decided to uh, bring the banks in a little bit, like this end of the island is going to be really, really small now. So. What I'm probably going to do is if I pan the camera around here, the original issue that I had with the, with the build was these telegraph lines going across here or electric lines. And I couldn't be within 30 meters um, fishing wise off of the bank because uh, you, you you can't when you cast you you're too close to the lines you've got to be 30 meters away however the way the lake sits now um we're away 30 meters so instead of losing that ground what i can do is i can put in probably two pegs along there along that bank and they'll be quite big pegs as well so there's a nice sweeping area there uh instead of having the pegs down here so 
it might look a little bit complex at the moment because it's not really um you know dug or you know there's no there's no there's no banks to kind of um you know reference but i kind of know what i'm talking about and i'm some i'm sure some of you will will get the gist of what i'm saying okay so this is the north side of the complex so this is basically the other end of the island um the original idea for this was to have kind of like one swim in this kind of area here uh, and then we were going to have another one here and then we were going to have another one that fished to the other side of this mud mound um, up into the top corner of the uh, of the complex however because we've pushed and pulled the lake around so as I said that corner came in what we've done is we've pushed this corner all the way up so that is right to the top of the bank now um, and that's probably gained a little bit more room as well uh, in regards to being able to maneuver the island around a little bit more um, and possibly get a couple or more swims out of it right final corner so this is the corner that i was talking about uh that we've kind of like pushed and pulled so originally the uh, idea was for the lake to kind of end probably about 30 yards 40 yards short of this post but the way that the land has played it out is we've managed to push it all the way up the bank so if you if i pan this round here you can see there that's the kind of like end of the field and we've managed to push it all the way up which is a significant distance compared to where it was you can just about make out here where the the uh, electricity line runs all the way across here so that means that i cannot have any fishing alongside this bank and that is the original idea of why i decided to have the island because it's not casting to the um the lines that's the problem it's having your fishing rod too close to the conductor so basically there they they were saying to me that the or the electricity board was saying to me that you need a distance of 30 meters so um yeah unfortunately this line is still going to be you know without uh without fishing um however you will be able to do it from the inside out hello and welcome to day number two well full day of number two anyway so i've just come home from work and it's about three o'clock in the afternoon and the guys are slowly but surely clearing the site and then over to the well i'd say the the left hand side um we've got the uh excavator and that's loading up one of two trucks every time they come so we've got one that's loading and one that's tip one that's tipping so that makes quite fast work of that um, and they're just moving all that muck down to the back end of the complex right over there in the dip uh, and that's where that's going to be stored uh, so when they come to build the dam wall uh, that will sit behind it for an extra bit of uh, reinforcement Howdy here YouTubers. Welcome to day number three. Unfortunately yesterday got a little bit hectic because the guys were working right up until dark to get the site cleared and finished. So um, I had to mark out the island again in the dark, which was a bit of a bit of a nightmare, but managed to get it done. So today, day number three. They are marking out the island and building the island up, which you can't really see from here, but I'll go down later because obviously I don't want to get in the way while they're working. Um, but yeah, they've built a bit of the island up where I marked it all out. And at the moment, they're putting in the key trench. Now, for those of you that don't know what a key trench is, it's a, basically a solid line of clay that goes underneath your dam wall so if you build a lake on a slope or anything like that you have what's known as a dam wall on the inside of that you have a big hard block of clay that sits underneath the bank 
uh, and what that does is that stops the water from running away underneath the ground and underneath the dam. So it's a really simple process. All they do is just basically dig out a massive trench, probably down to about five foot, uh, and then they backfill it with clay. Now at the moment, what the guys are doing is they're taking the good clay from inside of the site uh, and they are backfilling it with uh, the clay from inside of the lake uh, because there's quite a lot of shillet in this field as well so you get down to five or six foot and underneath the clay you've got shillet so all they're doing is instead of that shillet being down there they're um, they're introducing the clay into there and then after what they've done there they'll um, track it all in so it all becomes hard and compact and that's how that works but uh Hopefully, I'll be able to get down there later and I'll be able to show you. Um, I don't know if they're going to be here as late as they were yesterday, but I don't think that's going to be the case today because yesterday they were kind of trying to get the site cleared off. But as you can see, quite a lot of work is going on, making quite a lot of progress. Right then, so here we are, pretty much the end of day number three. Um, I think the... Uh, Dozer driver's just gone home and Royston is just backfilling the uh, key trench. So they've done a bit of tracking in there earlier on and now they're just kind of, I guess, building the banks up um, and getting ready for the, for the next stage. That's one part of it anyway. They've still got that far corner to track in and dig out all the way over there. But um, yeah, it is coming along now. So... Uh, Let's have a bit of a walk around the site and uh, I'll show you some of the progress that's been done. Stop number one. This is pretty much the uh, centre of the lake and uh, these posts along here all signal where the, um, the path onto the island is to be set. Um, it hasn't been dug out yet but uh, they'll, what they'll do is they'll just push all these corners in uh, and basically make a uh, high rise path onto the island right out so now we've just come across the path and now we're onto the island itself so you can probably see just where the the diggers started tracking it all in a little bit just compacting all the soil so it runs out probably to about this edge here um, I'm not too sure how well this is gonna work but I'll take you up here um, so now we're on the north side okay and then what we've got here is kind of like two spits off of the island back onto the uh, main island again now and this is the northwest side again and basically we're going to have a couple of swims that fish out just straight out in front of us so all the way along here, I think we're going to have a total of about three I've got planned for along here. They're going to be quite decent swims. It's going to be uh, quite a lot of um, quite a lot of room to go at. You can just probably just about there see just where the bank starts, where he's he's just tracking it all in there. There may be a shelf there as well. So it's uh, all starting to take shape a little bit now. Right, so we're at the end of the south bank now. So this is the uh, last swim that fishes out straight in front of you towards the east. No, to the west, is that right? Yeah, west. So on the south bank, I've got this area here, which is quite substantial really. Um, yeah. Nice little area here. Actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. Now I'm in two minds whether to have the swims on this bank or now that I've got the clearance for the telegraph poles, whether to put them on the outside. It all depends on how this is all gonna pan out really. But yeah, there's Royston tracking in the old key trench yeah pretty damn good
Right, just about getting dark now. So that's it for today, day number three. But we're making good progress. Um, just hopefully the weather holds out now. We're due for a little bit of rain this week, uh, tomorrow and maybe Thursday, and then it brightens up again, apparently. So we'll see what happens, but at least we found the water source now. I uh, found the land drain, the big land drain. So that basically means that they're coming in from all around, all around the lake. So hopefully that will give us a good water source for kind of like, you know, your summer months. It will help top it up in the, uh, in the dry season. But yeah, that's it from me. I'll see you tomorrow with another update. Howdy ho, YouTubers. Day number four. So um, it's now the Friday. Yesterday, nothing was done because it rained all day. But um, we had a little bit of rain today, but the guys have sort of powered through it really. So a lot of work has been done. They're building up the dam wall in the west. So that's starting to take shape now. And now they're excavating the island. So that's all piled up, ready to go. Um, and now they're just digging out the uh, rest of the land. And uh, yeah, it's really starting to take shape. So we'll have a walk around later, hopefully. Depends on how dark it gets. And uh, yeah, see how it goes. Haley's gonna get a metal detector out she's convinced she's going to find hidden treasure. What are you doing? I'm trying to get gold so I can leave you. You don't need gold for that. I'll give you a fiver if you do. <laughs> I can't happily pay a fiver to get rid of you. Shut up. She's loving the mud. She ain't found nothing yet. She ain't gonna either. Mrs. Minchia! Doesn't like the mud. Anyway, while we're here, while she's doing that, this right here, my little fellow friends, that's where the outlet's gonna go. So this location where we are here is going to be where the outlet is. He's tracking in the uh, island up there now. She's making a racket, finding all of nothing. It's a bit dark now, but I'll see if I can walk around the site tomorrow because I'm not really gonna get it in the light. But progress is being made. Get away from my pipe. <laughs> good morning, good morning, YouTubers. So, today's Saturday. The guys are here again. Let's go and have a look what's been done. This is the South Bank. Stood up here at the moment. You can see there, they just started cutting out the island and they're excavating this area here now and they're moving it down to the south or to the west and they're building up that dam along there with the with the clay that they're taking out of the ground. So it's coming along. Let's take a further look and see what else there is. This is the bottom of the uh, South Side Island. So I'll try and give you a, a view of the shape of it at the moment. So I can adjust this if I want to. Um, this is just the basic shape. They can lose some of it in the ground if they need to. So at the moment we've got quite a big area of it. It's all been tracked in. Uh, the levels haven't been done properly yet, but they're obviously in the process of still doing it. So we'll see what happens. An old land drain down there. Loads of land drains in this field. One down there as well. That's probably what that one's from. Doesn't look like they've worked for a while though. 
panning around here. This is the other side. So that faces up towards the north. Over there is where the bridge comes in. Now we're on the the main straight if you like. And this is going to stay as it is. It's perfect size it's now. And then that runs down through there. And that's where the dam wall is along there. They're just building that up. So yeah, we've got a, a fairly decent size. Here's where the uh, uh, walkway is going to be. So they're just in the process of doing bits and bobs there. Which is pretty good. Okay, so now we are on the north bank. That's set to be where the island is there. That's the east side. Biggie Smalls. West side, to park. Anyway. Let's get in there. Looking a lot, uh, a lot more like a lake now. <laughs> and this is the uh, west side. Uh, going to be the down wall in through there. Island. And then we've got the uh, top corner up here. So now we're down at the deepest point of the lake. And you can see there the water running through. Um, so the land drains are still kicking out a lot of water. I just had a word with Royston then and he said that one of the land drays is permanently running up the top. So we're going to see if we can find that in a minute. But um, yeah, that's the, uh, the island over there. So we've definitely got a permanent water source here, which is going to be great for the, uh, for the summer months. Hopefully it will stay filled up all year round. This is the area that's been interesting to me so far. So obviously you've got a land drain coming through there with nothing really running through it. Um, but the water is kind of like, I don't know if you can see it or not, it's kind of like coming out of the ground. So I've got the feeling this is the spring that I was talking about. In part, If you watched part one, you'd have seen that I was talking about that. I thought there was a spring in the middle of the field. And that would kind of tie in with this because this is where the water is coming from um, out of the ground at the moment. Um, and what this is, is a perforated, for those of you who don't know how land drains work, this is a perforated pipe. So what you get is loads of little holes. I don't know if you can see them in there, but that pipe is full of holes and that allows the water into it. And that's why it would have been running out the drain at the bottom. But you can see here, the water is running all the way down through the land and that goes right down to the outlet at the moment and that's where the water's coming from for it. So I've just been walking around, I'm just in the, um, the west side of the island just down by the bridge. Wiston started excavating again and he said to me that um, one of the land drains around here is permanently running and this is why all this water is collecting in here so essentially it's already starting to fill up but look how clear that water is unbelievably clear though i have just been in there and sloshed my boots around because uh i'm trying to get the clay off my boots but yeah amazing really howdy hair everyone so today is monday the guys have been at it all weekend and as you can see, it's taken shape now. Pretty much all the excavation's done. So the outsides of the banks are just going to be shaped up now. And they'll be adding the topsoil to it over the next couple of days. And that will be pretty much it. So uh, I'll go down this evening, take you down, and you'll be able to see what's happened and what changes we've had to make. We've had to make some changes. Not too bad, um, but yeah all worked out pretty good in the end so I've got it how I wanted it 
and uh, I'm happy enough with, with the way that it's laid out now. Hi! So we are now a few days on from my last update. Um, didn't get a chance to film on that evening unfortunately due to some uh, really bad weather. So the last few days has been horrific to try and get this done. Um, the guys have been going flat out but there's only so much you can do when it really hammers down. Uh, yesterday we had quite a lot of rain. Um, the forecast for the next few days is absolutely horrific. So they're really trying to push on now and get this done. Um, but as you can see, the most of it is done. Uh, the uh, dozer's just tracking in the far bank. That's like the, that's like the last bank that's got to be all tracked in and then as soon as that's done they'll start putting the uh, topsoil up there and uh, yeah get the outlet done and all the rest of it but you can see from probably a pan of around the lake all the banks have now been built everything's flattened out and already we're starting to get pools of water um, they're just coming from like the obviously like the rain and also the springs that are located sort of like inside of the lake so Let's go for a walk around and uh, I'll show you what's been done up to date so far. Okay, so the first on the list is uh, up near the entrance. So round here is where the uh, gate in as you come in. So this is gonna be the sort of like east bank. And this is gonna be one of the swims that I've got planned. It's kind of just like a bowl flat area. It's quite shallow, quite shallow out here, probably about two or three foot. And then it kind of like slopes off downwards with the uh, the gradient of the land. Um, so it's probably about six foot uh, in this kind of like little bay where the, where the water's set to be. We're also gonna have, this is where the walkway is. Um, we're gonna have a cutout put in this uh, so fish can move backwards and forwards through. There'll be a bridge on there when I've built it. So yeah, so you'll get a good look now, um, basically because I've got the feeling that when it rains, you're not gonna be able to see all the features in the swims, um, but there's no real features in this one other than if you look at the, the margin at the back there, there is like a sort of like a stepped in shelf that has been put in. So that's probably about a foot tall. Uh, just runs all the way around the bottom of the uh, marginal shelf. You can probably see it over here as well. It's just there, it's probably about three or four foot wide. And that goes around the, the whole lake like that pretty much. This is the second swim that I'm in now. So this will be where the car park area is, kind of like around here. So this will be the car park swim. This is the other side of the uh, island that we've just seen with the cutout. Um, and panning round, you can see they've started working on the shelf around the back there. All the banks have been sloped, the topsoil's on the island, uh, and they've yet to track all, of, track all this in and make this flat. Uh, there is a drain pipe that comes in down here, so that's got to be dealt with at some point, and that's why the rest of this hasn't been flattened out yet. But um, you can see that it, this one's quite a, it's quite a wide swim. So what I'm thinking about doing is I'm, I'm probably gonna make this a double swim. Uh, there's enough room for two anglers in this one, definitely. So uh, we'll make the use of the space and we'll, we'll turn this one into a bit of a double swim. So you can uh, partner up with your buddy if you're on the syndicate or whatever, if there's two of you. And uh, for those of you for future reference, you'll get a good idea of, again, what the bottom's gonna be looking like. So um, you can see down in, the, down in this part here, it's kind of like bold. Um, and that's just where, like there's a, just a deeper, deeper platform. And then you've got the actual shelf again, running around the outside. This is where the uh, plans change slightly because of the scope of the place. Um, whether or not I was going to uh, have the swims on like this side of the bank or whether I was going to put a swim on the end of that island it's looking like that probably I will have this swim on that side of the island so you fish from that side across to here uh, and then you basically get the water from the corner of the island there 
and then all the way around to kind of like this area so you get like this whole corner it's like a corner swim so uh again it's not really tracked in but you can see the bottom of the shelf there uh you've got like kind of like a little deep deep little gully there uh and then it kind of like comes back up a little bit more uh but yeah it's quite a nice little bay really definitely one for uh fish cruising in and out of i would have thought when it's done so that's the swim that we were in a minute ago and this is going to be this one I, what i've tried to do is i've tried to make some swims bigger than others uh just because some of the guys i'm sure prefer like fishing in like tighter swims small swims big swims so with this venue now you get a bit of everything so this is the next swim along uh and this is a bit more of an interesting swim because uh it's got lots of humps and bumps and all sorts i wanted to make an area that had lots of humps and bumps and you know different depths because you know every angle is different so i thought right well we had a little bit of waste material left so i thought well why not make some features out of it and that's what's been done so from this swim this swim will be on this side of the bank and what you'll do is you'll fish from this side out to the probably the, uh, that, that, the, the length of the island um probably only to about here because of the other swim which is located on there so you'll fish yeah to the island all of this i'm planning on planting up so it will be nice and high up and overgrown so the guys on this side shouldn't disturb you too much and it's quite a deep margin down there as well it's, again probably about you know right up the top is nearly sort of like nine foot so um panning down we've got like this area here which is like kind of like been made into like a clay bar just running across there you can't really see it that well because it's they haven't tracked any of this in yet or flattened it off but um then it runs down you've got the shelf around the outside and then you can see there in where the water is that's kind of like a gully in there um and then the land sort of like comes up here it's almost quarry like so it kind of comes up here up to a point and then after that point there it kind of like drops down so that's going to be it for for this side let's go on to the island swims now and have a look what we've got on there right so here's a view of the the island from the view that we had from over there uh, so we're gonna have two swims here this is the first one that we looked at from the other side of the bank can see there still got a lot of water here and if I pan around here you can see where the bar is here and there down there slopes up and then back down over the back so now we're on the western side of the complex so we're on the island again and this is going to be the uh, another point swim uh, you're basically gonna get you know from kind of like this area here all the way around right up until about here somewhere uh, so again another big swim uh, but yeah a lot of water to go out in here and a lot of humps and bumps as well you can probably see there that this is where that bar comes in and then drops over this has all been flattened out now and over here you can kind of see where the shelf goes down so it comes down here it flattens off and then off so yeah definitely coming along Royston is there he's just putting in the uh the rest of the uh, dam wall and then they'll flatten all that off with a bucket and make it all nice so this kind of view is probably a better a better view for you guys going to have three swims along this bank and they're all going to fish out to the uh, dam wall and there you got there we've got shelf again same shelf comes out and then steeps down and basically this just slowly falls away all the way down to where the the dam wall is so uh yeah they're pretty pretty self-explanatory if we get any surplus material from this i might get them to make up a a bar there or something like that but at the moment 
yeah it's just kind of like a, a slow slow going slope um down to the uh down to the down to the down wall bear in mind none of this is planted yet so like i know the vision that i've got for the place it's just uh yeah putting the plants in and making it happen really right so this is the final stop this is the south side of the uh, complex and this is the bank that's been built back down there i'm out of breath because i'm walking through clay and it's heavy down through there is where we just filmed so this is where the free swims are going to be and then panning round we'll come this area is quite big so i'm going to have two swims in here as well one at each end so this is one corner going to be one corner a little bit more shallow through here again we've got another bar that's being created um so yeah there's a few humps and bumps in this lake definitely it'd be definitely interesting one for for the guys who like to have a little bit of a lead around so yeah so this is going to be one area of swim and then on the other side of that we're going to have another one which is going to be located in this area and this is just the basically the loop from where we were at the start that comes all the way around here and through so work is progressing and uh, hopefully I'll come back to you basically when now when, by the time it's pretty much finished if the weather holds up so there we go one completed lake um, it took a little bit longer than was planned because obviously the weather held us up quite a bit this week but we did manage to get there in the end and uh, now it's all done the uh, lake has already started to fill up so the outlet is uh, now in the plugs in essentially and uh, yeah over the winter period hopefully she'll so fill now up nicely. here is where the work really comes in for me um, I need to uh, plant it over the winter so it's ready for the spring and uh, do a few other bits and bobs but my main objective at the moment is to get it planted and let it fill so that's pretty much it for part three I'll be coming back to you with a part four probably uh, in about six months time where you can see the development and see how it's all going and progressing see what I've done and uh, yeah watch it transforming from this muddy hole into uh, a fully fledged lake hopefully so once again thanks for watching and I will see you probably with the part four in about six months by the time uh, everything has changed a little bit more tight lines one and all and I will see you soon